Okay guys, what I'm going to show you today is how I've overcome um, the battery issues in my Parrot AR Drone 2.0. When I say battery issues, I don't mean I'm having battery issues, but um, just I got one of these for Christmas and like, the runtime on them is only about well, maybe about 11 minutes, the standard battery. So I did some um, googling, and these original batteries that probably cost upwards of you know forty, fifty dollars if you're buying the genuine ones. So obviously that doesn't give you much runtime. So I did a bit of research, and I was looking on the Hobby King website, and I found these batteries which are. Nanotech or well, Eternity Nanotech 1.3s or 1300 milliamp hour batteries. And I think these were something like in Australian dollars, they were like 11 dollars $11. Um, compared to the original one, which is about 40, 40 to 50 dollars. Now, these ones, the original ones, are only 1000 milliamp hour batteries, so you're getting about 30. You know, about 30% um, longer run time with these in theory. So what I did, I went ahead and ordered, um, I got three of these, they turned up within about a week, um, the 11 point uh, 1 volt 3 cell LiPo batteries. Now, obviously they're not going to, that connector, it's not going to connect straight onto the um, plug that's on the the AR drone. So I also ordered from Hobby King um, these. Now the part number for these, if you're looking on the Hobby King website, is 605B, and they are they're an XT60 connector on one side, and on the other side, I think they're. Um, I think they're mini Tamiya. So I ordered some of them as well. And I've all, I already had a, um, a battery charger which I use for other applications. So I also ordered a um, charger leads for my which plug into the battery charger, which then plug straight into the battery, like so. Tough little buggers. Alright, so, I got all that stuff. Oh, by the way, if you're ordering this on the Hobby King website, the part number um, will be 601CC. So, these turned up um, the other day. Um, and, yeah, they seem to be good. I was First um, first test, uh, they went for about 15 minutes, so probably about 4 minutes longer than the original battery. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with them. No problems at all. I've had a few charges so far, and yeah, it, everything seems good. Um, I think all these, everything together, the three batteries, um, the little adapters and the charge plug posted was about under, just under $50, which was the price of one battery, which doesn't last as long. Um, the only issue that I've found is when you put them in the end of the drone, they're not, they don't fit as well. Like I mean, they're not as snug. They will fit, but there's a lot of leads and things that you sort of have to tuck up under the, the body to make it stay there. I'll just give you a quick. Demo. So basically, you got that in there. You've got to put your connector on there and plug in that into there, obviously. And then, when you put your uh, when you put your body on, you just have to be careful just to tuck everything up there. As you can see it sort of just wants to spring back up so 
you just have to make sure everything's sort of tucked up in there, like so. Yeah, that seems to be working for me so far. So for less than 50 bucks, um, I can probably fly this for almost close to um, close to an hour now with the four batteries that I have. So yeah, that's that's what I've done. Um, yeah, any questions? Just uh, let me know, and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks.